Hey there, YouTube. So today, um, how y'all doing today? Um, today I want to talk about a little bit about um, two two questions I get a lot is how I get business and how do I make work in a full time job and a part time job work in the world industry. Um, it's not easy. Either one, but the, they both are not easy. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but. We'll start out with the easy, easy of the two, kind of. Um, how I get business is I have a, I put an ad on my local Craigslist. Um, it, what is it? I think it's like five dollars an ad or something like that. I do one, one or two a month. Ten just keeps me pretty busy. Um, it used to be a little better because they started charging not that long ago, and when they did. It was, it was flooded then there was a, I was like me and two other people the only people on there which for my market was pretty good but um, now people realize no it's only five dollars so that's all um, but yeah Craigslist you never know what you're going to get on Craigslist you're either going to get a lot of BS jobs or tail kickers and stuff like that or you you can get some jobs that are just crazy um, like those I don't know, if you follow me on Instagram you see the truck rats that I made. Um, I got that from Craigslist. Um, I did a job a while back for them. Um, it was welding some castles on some carts or something like that. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. About a year ago. Well, maybe not quite that far. But, um, did that. Um, they showed me the thing. They, know the aspects of it. they showed me the other trucks with the wax to see if that's something I could do. I'm like, yeah, it's something I could do. Um, didn't really think too much into it. Got a call about the end of this year, and they said, "Hey, yeah, we need to get some, we have some trucks. We need some wax made." I was like, okay, cool. Um, quoted them, got got the job, and then from there we just built them, and it's been a pretty good job for me. Um, about two more sets to build, and no, it's not taking me this long to do it. It's the when I'm getting the vehicles to do it, and I'm working on other stuff, just trying to keep moving forward. But, yeah, so that was a pretty good job. Started out as, B, as kind of a BS job. Um, nothing special, but they liked writing my walk, and that's it. So, with that being said, you never know what's going to turn into what. Um, so, always be nice to people. Um, it's tempting when people scoff at your place and say, Why the heck are you charging that much? Uh, Say, well, look at man, whatever. But just stay okay. Be as nice as you can. Um, and also, uh, that's the, yeah. Um, my other thing is I have a Facebook page, um, Noah's Weldon. Um, it hooks into my Instagram, so whenever I post Instagram, they post there as well. Um, and that that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if I actually have gotten any work from it, but it's at least something that people can see the work I do and stuff like that. Um, I had Google ads, or not Google ad, uh, Google listing. Um, that's what you type in when you like, type in world or so whatever, or that comes up with phone number, name, phone number, some of the pictures, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that, that's free. Uh, and the only downside to that is you will get a lot of calls for search engine op optimization. I don't know enough about it. They always want to sell you something, promise you the world. I'm just not into it. I probably should be, but it is what it is. Um, that's pretty good, and I have my webs my Facebook page on my website, so you can click on it and go in and look at it. The um, look at my Facebook page, see what I do, see what the pictures, all that, big way to get views, all that kind of stuff. Now, at Home Advisor and Porch and Thumbtack or something, whatever it is, um, I haven't really used them. Um, I tried to lean a little more on the commercial end of it. I still do residential, but I try doing commercial just because of, in the commercial industry, it's easy to get paid. People don't just come. They know what things cost. Um, residential, they don't, don't always. People, and that's something that, nothing no fault of their own, it's just they don't, don't understand what it costs to do this kind of work. And it, it costs, and that's just one thing people don't understand. So, 
that, and then, uh, yeah, that. If you can get into, like, resident, oh, and then another one is word of mouth. I am, like, scatterbrained today. But word of mouth is probably your best, in my opinion, for getting work. Um, it just takes a while to get it going. It's not something that you can pay more and get it going. It's, you kind of have the mercy. Uh, if you do good work at a fair price, and you do what you say you're going to do, show up when you say you're going to show up, fix it how you say you're going to fix it, uh, and just be honest with your customers. That's a big thing I've noticed. Just be honest. If you say, we can do it this way, but it may do this, um, then just do that. And sometimes uh, customers are looking for a certain thing that you may not be able to su help them with. And they may want you to weld this rusted out thing back together. To be honest, with you, you can't. You don't want to weld it and then have it break, and then have it break on them. And, and then they say, like, oh, it's a crappy weld. Or no, it's the crappy part. But I, just, I would weld that a little different. But, you know what I'm saying? Just say it's not worth welding on it. That's that, and the other part of the business, I had a couple, I have a, sorry, I've had a couple uh, DMs and uh, direct messages on Instagram and stuff about is how I make it work, having a full-time job, as well as having my side gig, um, which it's, it's a challenge, um, time management, you got to be good at it, I'm, I struggle with it all the time. But the biggest thing is it's only so many hours in the day. You're not going to make everybody happy. People want things done like yesterday all the time. And it's one of those things you just got to kind of juggle it. Like me, I, you know, uh, I've sent work dope's way. Um, because, like I said, I have a full-time job. So that is, this is his full-time job. So when I get backed up or something and I've said... I can't get to it today. I know you need it done, but let me. His Daniel's number. And he he's a buddy of mine. He he'd probably help you, and most of the time he can. And it works out for the both of us. And I know if if he have too much work, he can always call me. But it just he got more time. He didn't have more time because that's all he does. Um, yeah, which I love. I, I love when I can send work his way because it helped my customer. And it helping him. So between the two, it's great. Um, but now like I said, there's always the one thing I, I want y'all to get to the yeah. This there's only so many hours in the day. People will want you to work all night long to get this done, but they won't want to pay for it. Some people will. Don't get me wrong, but that's what you gotta be worried about. So be, that being said, um, there's only so many hours in the day. Just. Be honest with your customers. I'll say that all the time. If you can't get to it today, don't tell them you're going to get to it today. I am terrible about this. I'll be the first one to admit it. Um, I always want to be the guy to say, yes, I can. Or they'll say, okay, you get this on the way home. You want to be, yes, yes, I can. Knowing full well you can't. Don't do that. Um, and especially, try balancing your home life. That's the hard part. Because it's easy to easy to get caught you walk and just keep walking 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 but at the end of the day you gotta have you gotta be able to just you gotta have a life uh, a home life or whatever it is for you like your husband wife whatever don't want you be walking all the time a girlfriend anything like that I mean even for your own sanity I'm one of those people I'll walk till I'm blue in the face and it's just not good for me but sometimes you have to and when you do you do but that's the thing. Uh, which my job, all I've said in other videos, is a very pretty structured. Like I go in at this time and I get off at the. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really vary. The only thing that varies is like Fridays or Saturdays. Sometimes if we got a bunch of work, we got a knockout. We got overtime, but for the most part, we can plan around that. I plan on that pretty well. I mean that I get off at three. A lot of People like to say, hey, I'll be out there this afternoon after three. They're fine with it. Um, I don't always tell people I do have a uh, full-time job. I don't know. A lot of customers that I have, they, they're fine with it. They think it's uh, nice that I do it. Uh, but like, some of my better, my 
Well, where you go, they know it, and they know I come out on the weekends or after three. And they'll find it because they know I'm gonna be. If I say I'm gonna be there after three, I'll be there. I'm gonna get it done. They get get paid. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is payment. First of all, always, always. It's a little getting a little off topic, but know how you get paid, who you get paid, and when you're getting paid. Um, I've had so many times where I forget to ask that, and oh, you get a check in the mail or something. Or oh, it's nine, six, uh, 30 days out, 10 days out. If you know that going in, that's fine. But when you think you're expecting to get paid at the end of the day, it kind of sucks. You have money tied up and everything. So and always ask for it. Well, on jobs you gotta buy buy material on, get a deposit. Um, it's not always the most popular thing, but you need it for your own sake that way. I usually try getting a deposit for the material. Um, if I get a deposit for the material, that's great. That way, if they flunk out or something, I'm still out my time, but I'm not out money out of my pocket. And I can probably sell this for whatever and get at least recoups on my money. You do have to have contracts on that to say after so long it's deemed. Fulfill, you have to look up your local state laws on that. But that's that. Um, I use what they call the cash app around here. A lot of the truck drivers I find have them. Um, it's, it's super simple. You, you send a request, they send you money, it takes a day or two to come in your account. Super easy, super simple. One of my, um, one of my clients that I deal with quite often, he's a truck driver. And, um, what I do is most time he just tells me what gotta get done. He's not there. I go up there. He's got like five trucks. Um, I go up there, knock it out. And most time I send him a picture just so to make sure that's what he wanted. Um, send him an invoice or write an invoice for him, leave it in the truck. Send a request. He pays me. All done. It get transferred into my account in a day or two. Simple, easy. There's been quite a few times I, I never see him. It just because it's that fluid and. It works. He don't always have work for me, but when he does, he does. So that's one thing. Um, just find people you work good with, like Chucky says. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of machine shop and stuff. I do a lot of, um, like I said, dump truck people, um, dump truck drivers, owner operators, equipment. A lot of small time but big old outfits. If that makes sense, well, they don't they don't have enough work to always have a welder. But when they need one, they need one. So, especially with DOT regulations and stuff, a lot of the semis, they say a bump will tow off or whatever, they need to get fixed, otherwise they can't get a ticket. If a mud flap tow off, they need it, they're gonna get a ticket, if not. But, um, and that ticket's probably gonna be a lot more than it is for me just to water back. So that, that um, that's kind of all. I think I kind of rambled. I have a problem rambling a little bit. Um, find things up in my head and I'm like, oh, I need to say this, but sorry about that. And guys, I'm working on trying to get more videos for y'all. Um, I want to try to get some more, like, projects videos, because, uh, as, as well as this um, informational, because I find, I like informational now a lot more. Uh, I do like projects videos as well, but just, like, learning knowledge, because the world is only, like, 1% of the world in business. Well, that's just more like 10. We'll call it 10%. The rest is business, uh, material handling, all that kind of stuff. Planning, contracts, all that stuff. But anyway, that's that's a subject for another video. But I'm going to uh, I'm gonna end it about there. And, and thank y'all. I want to thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to um, hit that bell notification so you get notifications whenever I post. Um, I'm gonna try. My goal is once a week to post a video at least one. Um, some might have two, some may not. I might miss a week, but I'm really trying to get at least one a week done. Um, I think that's a nice study. And if I got if I got more footage, I'll do more. But th thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all later.